Hello people with us right here to review the Kamara Geats DX Monster Raise Buckle. So this is our second uh, big raise buckle release. However, the first to actually include a core ID, even though it doesn't acknowledge it. Anyways, this is the core the main raise buckle for Kamen Rider Punk Jack as shown behind Geet's monster form. And just showcasing the buckle itself. I really do like the packaging of these still. And I just, you know, probably it's just because I like the color scheme of the box at least. As you can see before, or as I stated before, uh, you have the contents PDF file for the instructions. So this is officially called the Core ID, or the Rider Core ID, Common Rider Punk Jack Core ID. Alright, um, speaking of that, it just, basically the back is kind of the same like the race buckle holder, it's just that, you know, basically like what they had with Buffa. So, here we are with the contents, um, we'll actually take a look at the Core ID first of all. As this is, this was supposed to be the third released core ID of Kamen Rider Punk Jack. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite ones, just because I really like the translucent orange. Which is pretty neat. I, I like the orange and black combo. And also, it's just because Punk Jack is just a reuse of Shiro and the pawn. So, <laughs> however, this is our only retail release of a panda. Or a bear, so I find that funny. Anyways, here we are with the monster raise buckle, which is definitely creative uh, for sure. I think this one's definitely the most expressive out of the raise buckles we've gotten, as it's just a sleeping monster. He seems like a teenage monster, as he has like this uh, baseball cap right here with a star, a band aid. He has like screwed knuckles and such and honestly it's probably this is probably my favorite one with the top slash bottom cover for the race buckle and i really like how they did incorporate orange into this like i just like how this like punching effects and such however the, this is the worst one of the hollowness like it's definitely one of the smallest ones of like these big buckles I, I don't like how hollow it is. It kind of, it's it's actually unfortunate. I mean, it at least has like an orange track, which is 065, QR code for Gamba Rising. And the gimmick for this one is when you push the hat in, he opens up with his fierce eyes. And then when you push it back in, he goes back to sleep. Obviously you can do this manually, and such just because of the spring but you know you're supposed to just press it in which is which is really fun and here is the peg for the, the desire driver and yeah so that's basically it so let's use these within the desire driver so we'll transform to Punk Jack Entry. Obviously there are other forms of Punk Jack, like we can take, we can give him shield finally. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, just do that in your own leisure. Anyways, insert the raised buckle, like so, when it wants to work. All right. So as you can hear, this one actually has its own standby of the monster sleeping. And I really like the blue LED coming out. So the transform just simply press the head down, or the hat down. So 
So here we are with Punk Jack monster form. And again, I just like that they bothered to actually make this an orange plastic to like, it's still a blue LED coming through, but it gives like a tint of orange, which I really helps like making it distinctive. And also it's just, again, I, I like how this looks on the driver and such. And this one's unique as we, if we press it in, we actually get a finisher standby. <laughs> to which again, we simply press the hat down. Yeah, <laughs> so I think the individual sounds are really fun. Now, um, technically, you should probably press it in to have it sleep, but I'm just going to lift his lid eyelids in. <laughs> As we can obviously use this with boost, though this is so far a figure arts exclusive form. As you can tell, you pair with other buckles, it's just going to be the standard standby. Not going to be surprised if this never happens in the show. <laughs> I do appreciate, because I forgot to state this, that for each of these combinations, the and boost part is differently said. So I like that effort. But the finishers, you know, are the same. It's just that we get this standby in addition. And then the best part. I just like that you can play both like you you can't play them both at the same time sadly but you can like just have them one after another and that's the way i showed off is the only way of being able to achieve it you can't do boost time and then monster because then it's just going to go straight into the finisher so you have to activate monster first to have that standby and then use boost I'll just show how this is supposed to work. So, <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate in a way that this is technically the only raised buckle that you have to activate to then remove. But then, like what I said before, you can just simply close the eyelid with your hand. <laughs> Here we are with the Magnum Shooter. The eyes didn't even open. I, I, I heavily apologize for not showing, you know, that. <laughs> it's just, I don't I, I feel like you guys should know what I'm doing. I shouldn't have done that, but anyways, um, Monster has a difficult time standing. So I had to like put the race buckle, like not the race buckle, the core ID, like something like that. But basically, um, yeah, when that's bouncing, I think this is a fun set overall. And definitely is weird that this is our first 
like standard set of raise buckle and core id because non-existence but um i mean for that it's really solid because i just feel like monster is just one of the most creative raise buckles ever that were programmed within the desire driver i like that they decided to have one of these like main core raise buckles that wasn't boost to basically kind of be a boost because it really helps bring out its like uh what personality i guess <laughs> which is you know again helps uh what that's like it helps make it stand out a lot and such and um basically no <laughs> i got this i luckily got this off of hobby search when it got released at the end of october because they the weird thing is that obviously for because punk jack wasn't revealed exactly um they actually held off announcing this thing and until the week of even though we already knew from like leaks and such but it was just interesting that they did that well obviously they did it because of halloween and such but it was also cool well it was at least nice for me to actually be able to get it on the week of it being released so then i didn't have to track it down later but i mean i don't think this set is that bad to track down this like because with the core id I think it only pushes the setup to like five more dollars, like three to five more dollars. But I mean, I think the set's definitely worth it. <laughs> Just because, you know, Punk Jack's neat. He's the only one of the three bears that actually gets more than the one form. <laughs> so it's just like, of, he's, of course, he's probably going to be most people's favorite within the bears and just this is a really cool buckle it's just it's just unfortunate that it doesn't have a boost form <laughs> in show i don't know what i'm talking about this is right or now people buy